Say, hey, everybody, it's Vitaly, and I am back. And today we're going to uh, address a question that I have been seeing more and more and more since the coronavirus uh, crisis has started here in the United States. And that is, how can I get my live streaming software into Zoom? And most commonly, I see those questions over in live stream studio forums and over in the vMix forums. And uh, most of the people are coming up with really complicated ways of doing that. Uh, it, it involves buying more hardware, spending more money, uh, you know, sometimes two, three, four, five, six hundred dollars, and, and then nobody seems to know if that's actually going to work or not. Well, I'm here to tell you that there's an easier way to do it, it and that is XSplit Broadcaster. Uh, a, you don't have to spend a lot more money, and B, you can get it today. You can download it, you can install it, you can use it for free, or you can pay uh, pay, pay for it and activate it right then. You don't have to, to risk waiting on equipment to show up and it, A, not get it, or B, you get it and it doesn't work. You know, it doesn't do what you need it to do. Uh, and, and you can do a lot of cool stuff. I've just got a very basic setup going here today because there's nobody else uh, to join me in, in the Zoom in a meeting. So I can bring them in. And the reason I say that is because if you're not careful, you'll, you'll run into that infinity mirror effect when you're doing that screen grab and trying to bring it over to XSplit, XSplit, monitor it and all that. Y'all should be familiar with that by now if you've been doing this for any length of time. So let, let me bring this up right quick. And as you can see in the screen right here, which I've got my crop set wrong. That is me, and I'm in XSplit. Let me bring up the uh, XSplit controls. I'm already on live on XSplit. And as you can see, I could uh, do all kinds of stuff here. But it's, this isn't really to tell you how to use Zoom. Uh, this particular camera the, in, in the window is a camera that I have dedicated just for Zoom to replicate it being somebody else, somewhere else in the world, and we're using Zoom to get both of us into a video. And you can do it any number of different ways. Make it look any way you want using graphics, FX, stuff like that. Uh, I'm just using a green screen and some other stuff. Y'all know, y'all should know how to be doing that if you're already wanting to be bringing live streaming software into Zoom. I need to change the scene right quick. I, I might be able to get away with it on this window, but I don't know. But I'm going to go ahead and bring this main window up right quick and push it live. And this is this is Zoom. This is somebody else somewhere else in the world that's hosting a Zoom meeting or a part of the Zoom meeting and we have locked on them. That's what I'm replicating here. And I want to show you that in Zoom, all the cameras that are hooked up to my laptop here or that are available to my laptop are pretty well available in Zoom. But if you'll notice right here, uh, XSplit VCam and XSplit Broadcaster both show up as cameras. So that is how you can bring uh, XSplit Broadcaster into Zoom. So let's get off this window and see if we can trick it into let me do this without doing the tunneling mirrors. And we may do it anyway, but I'm going to try to bring X split in and there I am I am now using live stream studio and bringing live stream studio over into as you can see X split now I haven't cropped the scene and all that and made it all pretty and but but I could work on it right quick and uh, do a little something with it but it's just to, this is just to demonstrate how you could use XSplit Broadcaster into Zoom today and have graphics overlays and you can do a lower thirds, uh, anything within reason that you're doing in vMix you can do in Broadcaster, uh, anything that you're doing in uh, live stream studio. Now I'm not saying that it, that you can't bring those in. I'm just saying that nobody's been able to figure that out yet. So here is a quick solution 
that doesn't involve spending a lot of money. You can do it for free or you can do it for $99 for a whole year. Or if you do a three month special, the last time I did a three month special, it was uh, $8.99 a month. It was like twenty four ninety five dollars uh, for three months. So, uh, the, and I think they've got a special going on today, so you can go check that out. I hope this helps somebody. This is Vitaly here at Red Barn Productions, and y'all have a good day. And stay safe, my friends.